how to create a facebook business page hi guys in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own business page on facebook so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what you're going to do is you're going to have to log into your facebook account as you can see i've already done that next what you're going to do is you're going to simply hover your mouse over onto the menu icon over here at the top right corner and then just simply click on it hover down and you will see the page option and, and it will take you over here now over here is where you create your page now first things first you're going to have to enter in your page name so for this one i'm going to enter hippo where next we're going to add in the category which is required so for this one we'll say fashion or we could go with a clothing shop that's more accurate there we go next we have bio you basically tell people a little about what you do there you go a small bio as you can see right here it's written over here next what we can do is create the page we're going to go to the editing part in a little bit and as you can see hippoware was created you can now add images or go to the page and add more details going to do that a little bit later first things first we're going to add the website if you have a website you can add it over here i'll just write something like that then we can add our phone number then we add in the email there we go then we can add a location now since this is going to be an online store we do not have a location or a physical location so we're just going to leave that blank and no hours available open at selected hours or always open it depends on you we're going to say always open and then we're going to say click on next we can add a profile picture and a cover photo and i'm just simply going to select the image right here and here is my image we can go ahead and see it right here As you can see it looks pretty nice then we can add our cover photo this is very important if you are adding it to your business page because it's going to be highlighted and it should represent what you are selling to your customers as you can see right here then we can go ahead and scroll it up and down uh, however you feel like it it all depends on you then we're going to click on next you can add in your whatsapp number but for this one i'll skip it for now and then we're just simply going to click on next turn on page notifications and click on done so over here as you can see this is how it will look like i'll just skip the tour and here we go so as you can see it looks pretty nice looks pretty good now that we have created our page what we're going to do is we're going to start editing it out so over here as you can see we have a couple of buttons right here we're going to go ahead and change some of this but first things first what we're going to do is we're going to complete this little box right here so we're going to go ahead and write a welcoming post it's going to be for public yes and over here we're going to write something about our page i'm going to write this and we're just simply going to go ahead and this is going to be our first post there we go now we can add a call to action button this is very important depending upon your page it's the call to action button is going to be different for each page so let's go ahead and set it up we're just simply going to click over here add an action button and then over here customize your action so we're going to go ahead and try it so over here as you can see these are some of the action buttons that you have now as i said before depending on your shop or your page your call to action button will be different now since this is a clothing store for me it's going to be view shop right here choose where people can find your product we're going to click over here shop on facebook connect another tool or link to your website it all depends on you we want to link it to our website so that when people click on the button it's going to take us directly to there it's going to take them directly to our website so we're going to click on next and over here we're going to add the link as you can see this is our website and once it gives you the green button you are good to go that means that it's good then we just simply going to click on save now when people come over here instead of advertise they're going to have a shop button and once we click on it it's going to take them directly to our website now it looks pretty good then we can invite people and friends to like our page now let's go ahead and view this page as a viewer and see how it looks right so we're going to click on these three dots right here we can see we have view as we're going to click over here you can see you this is how it's going to look like to viewers so as you can see this content on page is visible to others so over here as you can see this is how it's going to look like we're going to have our post right here our name intro and our info is going to be over here as you can see the shop now button is over here so when people click on this button it's going to take them directly to our website this is very important guys 
Next, as I said before, you can go ahead and invite people to like your page. Now, another thing is that you can give your page a custom name as well, but you can't as of right now, since this is a new page. Once you have new followers, I'd say like 25 to 30 followers and a couple of likes and your page starts seeing activity, then Facebook will give you the option to give your page a custom name and then you can give your page a custom name. Right now, as you can see, it's a very long name right here, but yeah, generally this is how it is. And after that, you are good to go. Now let's go ahead and add some more details on our page. So we're going to go ahead and click on the about section right here, scroll down and over here we can see we have some contact and basic info. Over here you can add your address, your uh, service area as I said before. You can even add your hours, your working hours if you have them. You can add your price range as well. So as you can see for now, I'm going to choose unspecified. We're going to keep that. Then you have add service over here. You have the delivery. I'm going to choose that contactless delivery. Uh, we don't have in store, so we're not going to do that. And we have and we're going to click on save. And then we even have a language option as well if you wanted to add that, but it depends on you. So pretty simple. This is how it looks like. Now, down below, you see you have your questions. You can answer these questions. You can create questions if you want. It all depends on you. Now, as I said before, you could create a custom name. So there is actually another way that you can do that. So for that, we're going to click on our account option right here. We're going to click on settings and privacy. We're going to click on settings. We're going to go into the settings of our page and over here as you can see this is the username over here we can create a username so for this one i'll create and as you can see the username isn't available but if it was we could have added that pretty simple if it gives you the green check mark you can go ahead and save it but as you can see right now it's not available so we're just gonna skip this part all together but as you can see this is how you do it but pretty simple this is it this is how you create a facebook page for your business a facebook business page but yeah that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye